Sometimes when making these quick tips, we have a tendency of trying to overcomplicate matters. In doing so, we overlook common questions and concerns from the community. So the other day when someone asked me how to save to an OBJ, I realized a tip covering how to export files was long overdue. Let's see how to do it with this nice looking and 3D printable lamp that Lucas submitted to the Fusion Gallery. First off, if you want to export directly from Fusion, there are some limitations in what you're trying to export and how. If you want to export just a single component from a design, no problem. You can right click it in the browser and from there you'll see options to export or save directly to an STL. But in using this export method, you won't find the ability to export to OBJ. Instead, you'll find things like iGIS, Parasolid, and Step. So we're not quite at a solution yet. We'll come back to that later. But first let's save out this F3D Fusion file but stay here to show you some other things that might throw you off. When you right click on a body for instance, the same export option isn't there, just the save as STL. No problem, right? The component at the top level of the design can be exported like we showed previously, or if you really just want to export that single body, we could create a component from it. A little bit of a sidestep, but my goal right now is to illustrate what's available, where, and how to do it. But let's step it up a notch. We'll jump into Fusion Team by selecting the project name from the data panel, then see what kind of other export options this opens up for us. Clicking the button in the upper right of this interface opens up a number of new options. This will include a Fusion Archive, which is great to gather externally referenced parts for assemblies, a native inventor file type, DWGs, DXFs, Filmbox, which can be used for those nifty new 3D Facebook posts that hit the news last week, SketchUp, and finally OBJ. So there you have it, ways to export your files from Fusion 360 into numerous different file types. For those of you wanting to build this model, make sure to see this in the Autodesk Design Academy, which I'll link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.